Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Andy Wee. I'm an orthopedic surgeon from Singapore. I practice in Mount Elizabeth Hospital and my main area of subspecialty is in shoulder and elbow conditions as well as sports injuries and arthroscopic surgery, also known as keyhole surgery. So essentially the shoulder joint is a ball and a socket joint with a layer of cartilage lining these joint surfaces. And in shoulder arthritis, what happens is this layer of cartilage is degenerated and damaged. So this gives rise to pain and stiffness of the shoulder joint. So there are three forms of shoulder arthritis. Firstly, degenerative or osteoarthritis, where the joint just gradually wears out over time. Secondly, rheumatoid arthritis, which is essentially inflammatory autoimmune condition where several joints are affected and then thirdly you have rotator cuff related arthritis which is arthritis as a result of a chronic untreated rotator cuff tear. Shoulder arthritis typically presents with two main symptoms. Firstly, pain and initially in the early stage of arthritis many patients will experience pain with certain activities involving the shoulder joint. But as time progresses, they may also notice pain even at rest or at night when they sleep. The second symptoms that they typically notice is stiffness of the shoulder joint. And as the arthritis progress, they will notice gradual worsening of the stiffness affecting their shoulder joint and they are unable to even perform simple activities of living like dressing up or removing their shirt. So other forms of shoulder arthritis, we typically treat it non-operatively initially and this entails firstly a course of anti-inflammatory medications to bring down the pain, secondly physiotherapy to maintain the shoulder function and thirdly at times you would consider giving an injection to bring down the inflammation within the shoulder joint. If this don't work then we will recommend arthroscopic surgery and during arthroscopic surgery also a keyhole surgery, what we do is we remove any loose cartilage fragments within the shoulder joint and we also remove any inflamed tissue within the shoulder joint. For more severe forms of shoulder arthritis, the best treatment option would be joint replacement surgery. And in joint replacement surgery, typically what we do is we replace the damaged surface with a prosthesis. Joint replacement surgery has very predictable results and is very effective in minimizing the pain as well as restoring function of the arthritic shoulder. It typically has quite a short recovery period and most patients will recover good function within 2-3 to three months after surgery.